Okay, this is a rose arch, and I'm making it out of woven hazel. Um, you start off with a mould with pre-drilled holes um, to keep your uprights nice and firm in, into the mould because if you, if you stick them into the ground then they're more likely to, to come out of, out of shape. It's very important when you're making this to keep everything in line and especially around the curve on the top to keep the curve nice and even otherwise it can look a bit like a 50 pence piece. Um, you want it to be nice and smooth and, and regular really. Uh, you start off at the bottom with hazel in the round and that's used to lock the whole thing nice and tight together. As you can see you, um, you bring up your very bottom rod so that, and you do the same on the top here so that when, when you pop it out of the mould it's all locked together and it can't, it can't move and go anywhere. Ideally the hazel that you would use for this would be down at least um, a good two, three weeks before you use it and we do a three foot a three foot wide arch and we can do a four foot wide. It's important to alternate your sails so that you get even tensioning so that it keeps it nice and straight, that's another factor. And when you're finished you have to use a bar to pop the whole thing out and it's very important to, um, when you're positioning it in your garden, raise it very slightly off the ground so to stop the damp from rising up into it and then it lasts a lot longer. Okay, this is a tool called a side adz, and it's a traditional tool used in Sussex for splitting hazel. Um, it's just really a, an edge, it doesn't need to be sharp, because you're using it like a lever to, to keep your split straight down the middle of the rod. Use the corner to start. Okay. The idea is that you split it down the centre um, so that you get, reach the pith of the, of the rod. And if you can keep that nice and even all the way down, it makes for a better product at the end. Yeah. So as I said before, it's very important to watch this curve try and keep it as round as possible. And how long does it take to make? Um, well, it's very difficult when you're at a show because you're talking to people all the time, but um, obviously I'm just learning at the moment. I've done it for a year and a half. So for me, I could, probably, I could do this in a working day and hope to get a bit quicker. I met Alan and Joe Waters, uh, Wildwood Charcoal and Coppice Products. I met them a year ago on a course that I did at West Dean College near Chichester. Um, and ever since then, I've spent a year with them, working alongside them, coppice work and learning all the different products that they make. Um, and I've been accepted onto an apprenticeship scheme with the Greenwood Centre. And I've done a year with them now. I've got two left to go and the plan is that after that I will carry on and continue working with Alan and Joe.